gonna be fun. I've watched a lot of these things I no longer buy videos on YouTube and I just think they're really cool because I'm nosy and I like to know what people, you know, don't buy and what they do to save money. So that's what we're doing today. Also, this is in no way to judge anyone for doing these things or buying these things. You do you, boo. All right, the number one thing that I no longer buy, perfumes, fragrances, and air fresheners. I don't buy any of this artificial scented crap for my body or my home because if I'm being frankly honest, it's poison. The words fragrance and perfume basically stand for hundreds of really nasty chemicals that you don't want on your body and you don't want to be breathing in. So I do not spend a cent on any of that. Number two, plastic food storage containers. I know that a lot of people are big into like the Tupperware brand and I get it, they do things that make food last really long, but in my opinion and from my standpoint, glass is better for the environment and it lasts a whole lot longer. As my plastic containers have gradually broken or just, you know, disappeared because they tend to do that, I've replaced them with nice heavy duty glass ones and I feel safer about putting hot food in them, about putting them in the freezer, storing food in them, reheating food in them. I just feel better about using the glass food storage. So that's what I do. Number three, bras. Haven't bought a bra in, honestly, you guys, three or four years other than just like bralettes. And the reason for that is because they're just freaking uncomfortable. And to be honest, I don't wear them. Right now I have a bralette on, which is a rare occasion but this shirt's a little bit see-through, so I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Another note, we gotta wear masks all the time now. Why should we have to wear masks and bras, you know? Pick one. One uncomfortable thing is more than enough. Number four is makeup wipes. I was a loyal makeup wipe supporter for many, many, many years. I used to get the Costco boxes and I would just be stocked up makeup wipes always, forever. That was how I washed my face and I was, I was loyal. But now, makeup wipes have a lot of gunk in them, I've come to realize, and they are not sustainable. I just use face cloths or, you know, a face wash in the shower. I just use plain old products and it gets the job done. I don't need these fancy wipes and I don't really wear makeup very often to begin with. So it's all good, it works out. Number five is magazines. I was always a sucker for the pretty magazines and like the headlines that draw you in at the grocery store checkouts. But what happened was I would buy all these magazines and I couldn't bring myself to get rid of them. So it got to a point where I just had a big stack of them. I had enough Cosmopolitans that like, you know how there's a little bit of the picture on like the spine of each one. You could see like three or four full pictures like cause I had three or four years worth. And it was at that point that I forget who was helping me clean out my room, probably one of my sisters. She was like, you're never gonna look through these. You're never gonna read them. They just need to go. So after I parted with them, I have never bought them again. Number six is eyebrow waxing slash tinting. As someone with, you know, light hair, I have really light, fair eyebrows. And for many years, I would go and pay someone like once or twice a month to tint them and wax them. But now I have the tint or the dye myself and I dye them myself probably every maybe three, four weeks and I don't wax them, I don't pull out any hairs, I just let them do their thing and I tint them myself and that is easy for me and it saves a ton of money. Number seven is designer brand items. I could care less about having like, you know, Gucci or Prada or any of those other big brand designers. I don't care. I don't think it's worth the money in my opinion. I'm much happier with cheaper options that I like. I'd feel terrible if I spent, you know, $500 on, on one thing because I love saving money. And in my mind, I'd be like, I could get so many things for that amount of money. I could go and do something really cool for that amount of money. Not in the big brand designer names. Number eight is new clothes. Now I have bought like a few things. I needed some maternity shorts cause I had not a single pair of like pants or bottoms or shorts that fit at all. But other than that, I get the majority of my clothes secondhand or I just wear things that I already have or kind of recycle them into something different. Not only is this so much better for the environment, 
but it saves me a lot of money. I used to be someone who was like trying to keep up with all the newest trends, would go to the mall like once or twice a week and buy new trendy clothes, but now like, oh, I just have a different appreciation for money and I would rather spend my money on experiences and you know, things that matter more to me than clothes. Number nine is jewelry. Now it's not to say that I don't like jewelry. I do like jewelry. I do have a couple like really nice pieces, but I used to be someone who collected all that really junky crap and it, I just never got rid of it and I had this huge collection of it and then finally I was like, I don't wear any of this. It just needs to go and from now on I'm only keeping like high quality pieces which even high quality pieces, I'm just not a big jewelry wearer. I put on my engagement ring and my wedding band today and a pair of earrings because like I actually thought about it and made an effort to do it, but I'm not someone who, I don't know, I feel so restricted and cut off when I wear jewelry. I feel like it gets caught on things. It's just, I feel stuck. And that's even why I took out my belly button ring and let that grow over because I just felt constricted. Like I, I didn't like it. I'm not a big jewelry fan. I try but I'm not. Number 10 is hair appointments and salons. My hair is naturally this color. I style it myself. I get a trim maybe once a year. If I can't convince my sister to do it for me because she is a hairstylist, although she does not practice as a hairstylist, but sometimes I can convince her to do it for me. Number 11 is nail salons. I have never been, will never be one of those people who goes once every, I don't know, when do people go? Two, three weeks, once a month? I have no idea. To get their nails done and they like get new colors and all that. And I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't look nice. It does look nice. It looks great when you're holding, you know, your pretty Starbucks cup or whatever it is. They look pretty, they look nice, but I'm just not into that level of maintenance and time and money that it takes and so, also, I just feel like they chip so quick and I hate long nails. I feel like I can't function. So I'm fine to just have my nails bare, naked and short and like paint them the odd time if I'm doing something fancy. Number 12 is makeup. I used to buy all of the new products just to like test them and see if it was better than something else that I had because it was just fun to experiment with new colors and shades and blah, blah, blah. But now, I've kind of switched all of my products to clean beauty products and so I have my very select few favorites. That's all I use. When they run out, I will replace them with the exact same thing. I'm not out there trying new foundations and like new eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that anymore just because I know that I don't use them. So it's a waste of money for me. Number 13 is purses, handbags, and wallets. And this kind of ties into the whole designer thing that I talked about before. Basically, I have some purses and wallets and handbags that I like and that are high quality. I have some matte nat ones that I especially love. And so I just try to keep those and use those until I can't use them anymore because yes, I was that person that had purses and purses and purses and couldn't throw anything out. And guess what? Didn't use half of them. Don't even know why I had that many. It was just absolutely ridiculous. So they are gone now. I am somebody who has a hard time getting rid of things because I attach like emotional memories to physical items. So I noticed this the other day when I had my sister over to help me like clean and organize and get rid of things. And she would like hold something up and be like, you do not need this. And I would have this big story about it, even though, yeah, she was right, I didn't like it. And so she was like, Shelby, you are attaching memories to physical items and you need to not do that. She's not wrong. So since I know I have a tendency to do that, I'm just more conscious about what I do buy because I don't want to end up with a whole bunch of junk that I can't get rid of. Number 14 is seasonal decor. I might sound like a Grinch for this one, but I do not own, you know, decorations for all the holidays. And that is because when you own decorations for all the holidays, you have to store them somewhere. And that takes up space. And I just feel like my styles kind of change all the time. But to be honest, I'm not someone who decorates really anyway. Like maybe for Halloween, I'll get some pumpkins and stuff for Christmas. 
I'm gonna say on even more Grinchy, but like Devin and I haven't put up our own Christmas decorations or Christmas tree other than once, maybe three years ago when we first moved into our house. And that is because Christmas time for us, we don't really have gatherings at our own space. We're typically like at my parents or his parents or other family members. And so there just hasn't been like much of a point of us putting in all this work and effort to decorate and own all this stuff when we're not there to enjoy it. Now that's not to say that things are going to change for us because with a baby coming and having a family, I'm sure that I will start to want to decorate and have those things in our own home. But prior to that, we just didn't. Number 15 is shaving cream. I couldn't even tell you the last time that I purchased or used shaving cream. I don't think it's necessary. I don't shave all that often. Um, I like waxing better and I don't even have to do that very often. So shaving cream, waste of money, not to mention the like aerosol containers that it comes in are just awful for the environment. So I do not need it. Number 16 is related to travel, although not doing any of that with all this COVID crap happening. But when we do travel, we do not pay to check bags. We just bring like our Osprey packs for carry on only. And that has been such a lifesaver, so much easier. I was always someone who had anxiety about checked bags anyway. Like, is it gonna get on the plane? Is it gonna get lost? Oh my God, that there are gonna be things missing from it. And so I have so much more peace of mind when everything that I have and need is like on my person when I travel. The worry is just totally gone, which is awesome. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm making new videos every week. If you're interested in pregnancy content, there's going to be some of that. If you're interested in thrifting, there's going to be some of that too. If you're interested in content about dogs, there's going to be some of that too. So I would love to have you as part of the fam. That brings us to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys liked this one, found it entertaining to watch. I would love to know some things that you guys don't buy or if you have any in common with me, let me know down below. I love reading your comments. See you guys next time, bye.